Rowing the wrong way. Well, this 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 is the unprecedented, which is uh, of course conceived in the lockdown when I couldn't even get good plywood. I got plywood from Bunnings, which was cheap plywood, but it's an awful heavy thing. Um, and originally, it had it had four solar panels up there on the deck. It was sized to suit the solar panels. I had two big batteries in here, and I had a, a torpedo. 1103 outboard motor but the limitation was the uh, cable from the torpedo motor to the big batteries they only take 100 watts so that limit limited my range that I could do it so I scrapped all that and I sleep under there too which wasn't very very good for a, a, a person so now I've got I've got those saddles up on the deck from a tent so I can put my tent up on the deck and uh, I've got a two and a half horsepower mercury outboard motor to uh, push it along as well as the, the sail, the lug sail and so on and the oars. Yeah, so this is a, an O'Day day sailor uh, designed in America or built in America by um, O'Day and designed by Ulfa Fox. Uh, it's a 1975 model and there's only a couple of them in Australia. And I bought it about three months ago, moving up from a Heron and uh, hoping to do a little bit of offshore stuff with it. And uh, yeah, that's about the deal. It's solid fiberglass. Um, very low maintenance. They added these little little uh, cockpit combings just to give it a bit more freeboard towards the stern because it's quite low wooded. Um, it's a fractional sloop rig and carries a spinnaker, which I haven't got set up yet, but that uh, that's, will be coming in the future.
shame that is. speedboat in the US going about 30 knots, right? Big boat, now about two and a half feet long. It's just, oh, this is a new now, oh great. You can't get through. And the telephone can't get through. 